Welcome to a tutorial on how to create UHC mode in vanilla in the 1.8 pre-release snapshots and 1.8 game. So I'm here to tell you all the commands you will need in vanilla Minecraft to create a UHC server completely in Minecraft, no mods, no bucket, nothing. So this is in the latest snapshot 14w29b this is the latest snapshot at the time of recording, which is the 22nd of July 2014. 1.8 will be coming out soon. So first, before we start, I'm just going to TP myself to 0, 0. So now I'm at 0, 0, we can start. Now you see it's ultra hardcore, meaning you do not regen your hearts when you take damage. So if I fell from a height and took damage, even though I had full hunger, I will not regen my hearts. Now ways of regening is to use golden apples, have chunk errors, uh, potions, beacons and anything else that we can regen which isn't natural. So you should be doing this on a server if you're playing with friends you can be doing this on your own and you will need commands enabled. So on a server you just do slash up in your name in the command in your server or on single play you just allow cheats. So the first thing first thing we're going to do is go slash difficulty and we're going to get H. You can also do slash difficulty 3 and that's going to set it to hard mode which you see should be played in. Now before we start typing in commands I want to say something which will help you out. So if I type slash game, if I press tab it will scroll through every command that has slash game in it. Now this will be easy to stop any errors through typing and I'll just speed up the process. If I want slash game mode and then list all the game modes I could have. So I'm going to set myself to creative for now. Uh, in UHC we probably want the middle point to be 0, 0 and you won't normally spawn at 0, 0 when you load the world. So that's why I TP'd myself to 0, 0. Now the first thing we can need to make it UHC is slash game rule and we want natural regeneration set to false. This makes it so we don't regen naturally basically. Now, if you're playing this on the server with teams, you want to add your scoreboard so that everyone can see your health and what teams you're in. So you're going to go slash scoreboard, objective, press tab, speed that up, add the name of your scoreboard, so I'm just going to call it health, and then the thing we want to list on the scoreboard is a health, so you can have no capitals for the uh, name. And that's now added the scoreboard called health successfully. Now we're going to do slash scoreboard again. We're going to go objectives again. We're going to, this time we're going to go set display, no capitals. I'm going to set it as a list and the name of the scoreboard. Now a list is when you press tab, you'll see everyone on that server. So this is a, a survival, or not survival, this is a single player world. It's just me and I have some full signal, which I should have. So that's now set my display. If I go into creative mode, it might show my hearts. No, because we need to set something first. So if I take a little bit of damage first, we didn't we didn't fall far enough. So if I take some damage, you can see my hearts now enlisted. So you, when everyone's in the server, just get everyone to take damage or die, and when they come back, make sure they have full hearts, and everyone will be listed with full hearts. Now, if there's multiple people on the server and you want to know whose team are on who, you want to colour code them. So you're going to go slash sport scoreboard again, teams, add, and the name of the team. So we're going to have a blue team. So team blue has now been added, and now we want to add people to this team. So you're going to go slash scoreboard teams, you're going to go join, the name of the team, so blue, and you're going to list everyone who's going to be part of that team. You can press tab when in multiplayer to uh, go through the list of names in the server. It's just me because this is a uh, local world. So you might have Steve, you might have John, and you type everyone's name you want to be in that team. So I've added myself to the blue team now, but it doesn't show the colour. So the next command we're going to type in is slash scoreboard and we want to go to teams. It doesn't want to go to teams teams and we want option the name of the team so blue and we want to give it a color now it's color because it's american for some reason that's how 
commands go and I will put a list of colours in the description and they are listed there so because this is team blue I'm going to name it blue but I did that wrong because I pressed tab so it's slash colour and then we're going to go blue and now you can see team blue is now the colour blue if I were to say if I don't want team blue to be colour blue we could make it yellow and now we're team yellow so you can add multiple teams multiple colours and that's it. So you could say this is done, but you might want to set a limit on how far people can go out because if there's a few people in Infinite World, it's going to take a while to see everyone. So we're going to go to slash world border, which is a new command for the snapshots in 1.8, so this won't work in 1.7. Every command before this will work in 1.7, but not the world border, world border command. So we're going to go to world border center, and where I'm standing, so we want the x and the z coordinate, which is 0, 0. So now I've set the world border to 0, 0, it shows 0 0.5 because it does. We want to go to world border set, so world border set, and we want to set the size. So a 10 will give the world border of a diameter of 10 by 10. So it's 10 across, and that way, with my center point being 0, 0. Now you can make this bigger, you can set this to 100, and that, if we just walk over here, you'll see the world border is that big. This goes all the way to bedrock, all the way up to the, I believe, 256, which is building distance, although it may go further. And my mouse just messes up just for a second. And then you can set it smaller. You can set it bigger. Um, I'm doing a 2v2 very soon, and we're going to have ours at 400. So I'm not going to run because it'll take too long. But it's a big enough well to get set up. We will spread the players into either corner, and then we can just venture out from there, and so forth. So, if you want to stop people from going outside the world border with, say, an ender pearl, you can set the damage you take when you cross the, this border. Now, the default for crossing the border is 0 0.2 per block. Now, I can't get, I'm not going to be able to get across this because even though I'm in creative, but you can ender pearl. So if I get an ender pearl, you can't use this in creative, and you can see I'm taking damage while outside the world border. It's 0 0.2 per block outside, and it increases so everyone but 4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, and so forth. So now I'm really low on hearts. It's showing on the scoreboard. If you want to change this damage, you can go to slash scoreboard not slash scoreboard sorry slash world border and then you want to go damage amount and we'll set it to 2 so now you can do 2 damage per block from 0 0.25 block so it's now 2 damage, 4 damage, 6 so 2 will be 1 heart so if we crossed we would die instantly basically so now that's done when you die in UHC, most people, if you're on the server, do not respawn. So what they can do if they want to watch is go game mode and they go spectator. This means they can fly around, they're not seen in the world at all. They're totally invisible, like that. Although people in survival won't be able to see. I don't believe or they can cross the world border. Okay, I didn't know that, but now I do. And they can go watch everyone. And hopefully not spoil the game for everyone. So, uh... That's basically UHC in in vanilla Minecraft. Everything you need to know. Now, Bucket can improve some stuff like a counter every 20 minutes to list episodes, but I don't believe that can be done in vanilla. Although you could have a scoreboard with a timer on the right hand side, so over here, I believe that can count up, which could be useful. So, all you need to know, thank you for watching this tutorial on how to create UHC in vanilla mode. Goodbye.